Welcome to the Grand Valley. The Grand Valley is located near the border of Colorado and Utah. It's known for its epic outdoor adventures, quaint downtowns, and award-winning wines. After a long drive from Denver, there is only one place I wanted to start my weekend adventure. Slope Coffee Company is a sustainably sourced coffee shop in downtown Fruita. All right, so I'm here at Best Slope Coffee with Tom and Kara Griffith, who I actually went to high school with. So how did you guys end up with a coffee shop in Colorado? Yeah, who knows? That's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> the opportunity to partner in this um, with some friends in town who own a restaurant uh, came up. And you guys make all of your own coffee right here? It's all roasted uh, on site. All right, so uh, what sets Best Slope apart from other coffee places? <laughs> I think uh, one thing we've always focused on is service. I think that the environment that you've created with the staff and the family atmosphere amongst the staff really feeds into the customer service. And so Fruita, how far is this from Grand Junction? It's it probably take you about 10 minutes to get into Grand Junction. Okay, yeah, so there you go. If you guys come in mountain bike in Grand Junction, you gotta stop at Best Slope and get a cup of coffee. Yeah. I'll be joining Kara a little bit later in the day to check out a local hiking trail. But first, I headed to the town of Palisade to see why this region is called Colorado Wine Country. Rapid Creek Cycles offers all sorts of bike rentals to explore this awesome area. With only a short amount of time, I opted for an e-bike, but if you have some more time to spare, this region is famous for their world-class mountain biking. One of the cool things about being in Colorado wine region is taking my e-bike tour, I happened upon another vineyard. So Cole Terrace? Cole Terrace. Cole Terrace. Cheers. Okay, so here's something wild about this place. They have a white Cabernet Sauvignon. I didn't even know that existed. Apparently here, and then there's two vineyards in Temecula are the only place in the US that do it. So it has just a tiny little rose color, but not much. She said only an hour with the grapes, which is pretty crazy. And it's delicious. Colorado's Grand Valley has over 25 wineries and vineyards. Today I headed to Whitewater Hill Vineyard for a wine tasting with owner Nancy James, who produces over 25 different varietals of wine. How long have you been doing this? I've been making wine now for 17 years and we've been growing grapes for 22. What makes this area so special for wine? Um, the fact that we have a nice stable climate Okay. So we don't usually have cold events that are cold enough to damage the grapes during the winter time and we're warm enough during the summertime to get the grapes dry. So Moscato is a style and it's generally made with the Muscat Dinelli grape. I definitely taste the honey. Yeah. So I'm here at the Whitewater Hill Vineyard and she has over 20 varietals and so far, they're all pretty amazing. Cabernet Sauvignon, they talk about it, the king of grapes. You know, all 100% locally grown, Grand Valley grapes. No varieties, so you get cherries and chocolate and spice. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I go to these other states and they say, oh, we're wine country in this state. Oh, okay. <laughs> and so I'm always like, Are, is this a wine area? Oh my gosh, this is a wine area. <laughs> this is a wine area. <laughs> Lamb is beautiful with it. Mm. Just this I can, I can get that already just from the smell. I'd love to put some lamb chops on the grill and sit out and enjoy this kind of a view for the day and have a gorgeous dinner. I think that one might be my favorite. You may have me with the ethereal. You're blessed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe this is my favorite. 
So we call this the classic so good, Colorado, you're surprising me with your wine. The uh, ice wine is created by allowing the grapes to hang until they can be naturally frozen by mother nature. The grapes turn into mush, they don't freeze completely and you're just able in the press to squeeze out the tiniest little drop of this beautiful syrup. It's That's kind of dessert in a bottle. Yeah, it smells like Such it. Such a fun. Oh, that's dangerous. <laughs> I'm not wasting that one. <laughs> The summers here in the valley can get pretty warm, so Kara and I headed out around sunset to check out Devil's Canyon. I gotta say, the West Slope really took me by surprise with its gorgeous vistas, delicious wine, and endless adventures. I will definitely be back. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!